Well, the junior senator from Florida is becoming a rising star in Washington these days. NBC's Capitol Hill correspondent Kelly O'Donnell has more. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Savannah. Well, the question is, is Marco Rubio the next big thing? Well, in the 2020, 20, I'm sorry, 2010 campaign season, he was one of the most talked about candidates. He unseated a sitting governor. He knocked off a congressman to become a senator. While here, he kept mostly a low profile until now, and we got some special behind-the-scenes access. Leaving his workout by 7 a.m., attending daily Catholic Mass at 8, Sweat it's a lot, and you know, faith both here. drive Florida Republican Marco Rubio. But I've always been kind of a morning person. Rubio just turned 40, a kid by Senate standards, less than half the age of more senior colleagues. Do you feel a learning curve? I do, and, and part of it is just kind of finding your voice. You've got to click on the camera. One generational plus, Rubio's dad voice Hi, dad. <laughs> can beam across his laptop. Did you eat something with sugar? daily Skype chats with his four children in Miami. You're in Amanda's room. Staying connected, but most days a thousand miles apart. I can coach his teams, but I miss half the games at least. The son of Cuban immigrants. His father was a bartender, his mother a clerk at Kmart. Hi, I'm Marco Rubio. Here, speaking English and Spanish, he records a video message for constituents. Wife Jeanette and their kids made a rare trip to Washington, D.C. to see a Senate tradition. Rubio was the last of the new class to speak from the Senate floor. A world that still needs America. Clearly looking to build credibility on foreign policy and build relationships, including some Democrats like fellow Floridian Senator Bill Nelson. Do you feel like a mentor to Senator Rubio? Not a mentor, a colleague. Swept into Washington on Tea Party energy. We fully embrace the Tea Party sentiment. Rubio now keeps his distance and refused to join the Senate's new Tea Party caucus. I'm always concerned anytime Washington tries to institutionalize something. And forget 2012, he says. Rubio claims he will ignore any offers to run for vice president. Look, I'm flattered by all this. I really am. You're from Florida. You're one of the fresh faces. Don't you expect to fully be on somebody's shortlist? I'm not going to be the vice presidential nominee for the Republicans. You wouldn't serve? Uh, I don't think they're going to call because they're probably going to see this interview. Well, in any event, expect there to still be plenty of VP buzz for Marco Rubio, in part because he is becoming more public and he's willing to take on President Obama much more aggressively. That's always a job qualification to run for VP. And he'll be making his first outside Florida speech in just a couple of weeks. And where? at the Reagan Presidential Library. Savannah? All right, Kelly O'Donnell, I think that phone might ring. Thank you very much. <laughs>